Boost. Riffle, what are yeah. we doing today? Uh, we're looking at the rest of the Deus. Deus Mons. Yeah, yeah, we are. Now, a really fucking cool thing happened. The mod creator found my last video and commented on it and told me where the key was. Mm -hmm. So the key and the ability to get the other shit is in the game. Yeah. I just had no idea where it was. And it's really, really well hidden. And now we know where it's at. We know where it's at. We're going to go get it. We're going to see what the jewelry is. And uh, there's a couple other things that I need to mention real quick while we're getting there. Um, I don't know where the Vel Vilmeyer Inn is. Mm. But it's got a lore. It's like a book for lore. Yeah. It's got a book for lore in it. And same with the book on the nightstand. Um, the mask stand. Mm-hmm. With the, like, for the Dragon Priest mask, so yeah. I'll show it on camera in a second, just as a little reminder. Oh, and by the way, this is the debut of the Mod Goddess. That's her name. She's, she's, she's a goddess, basically. Mm -hmm. It's a point of her. Oh, and, yeah. And, uh, go down here to the royal bedroom of the Dovaki. Dovaki. Who are you? Hmm? What in the vault? Uh, it was in here. Yeah. This place here, I don't have uh, the Nakreen mask anymore because this is obviously a different character. Uh huh. But this does nothing. This doesn't double your Dragonborn power. It's the other artifacts, which is like the the scepter mm -hmm. that's on the throne and whatever's in the jewelry box in the other chest we're gonna find. Cool. Um. Uh, yeah, the dungeon, like the catacombs, mm -hmm. uh, I'll mention that whenever we're down there when we go and get that jewelry. Uh, so let's go ahead and go up here to the throne room. I got lost for a second. I didn't know where I was going. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the guest room. We saw that. Yeah, we, we saw everything. We're just getting that key and everything. All right, so this is the throne room. The door down here that didn't open... See, it's, it just kind of lets a breeze in right yep. now. Um, he plans for this. It's a work in progress. He plans to be a prison slash barracks, mm. which is really fucking cool. That's going to be cool. Yeah. Um, and then the other big-ass door over in here, which he called the Great Door, mm -hmm. is going to be to a library of Hermaeus Mora. Ooh. So I assume since he's the like the... Daedric print the Daedric, the Daedric Prince of Knowledge. I mm -hmm. fucking did it again. I didn't mean to do it that time. Uh, it's gonna be like just a shitload of books. That's yep. what I'd assume. Um, probably all the skill books in the game, something like that. That'd be pretty epic. Um, I got a thing wrong last time. The Mirror Acceptor here doesn't use Dragon Rend. I used? said it used Dragon Rend. It uses the Bend Will Shout. Oh. Without needing to do the cooldown. Um, and there's five relics. And one is the scepter that we just picked up. So, the Merak scepter. Yep, yep. Which is a really fucking cool weapon because, like... That just feels powerful. Boom. It sounds powerful. Let me get back to Dawnbreaker. Put you away. Mm. And we're going to go up here because we need to find the key. Yep. And this key uses two chests. There's two ways you can get to this key. Okay. I'm going to show the first way. It's by climbing on Ald Alduman's back here and getting a very, very lucky jump. And it's right there. Huh. And I'm going to show the other way, and that's the way I got it the on the other save. So I still have no idea what's actually in the chests. But we're going to... But it's to jump on top of this steel of Talos... And then just jump onto the tail, and then fuck it up and fall and break your kneecaps. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> but I can't, I can't wait to see some of this stuff. I know. Honestly. I'm sure it's gonna be awesome. And it's just so cool that the mod creator actually cares so much that he is like actively searching for it. I guess. I know. That he f actually found my video on it. Yeah. So we got the key there, and the first chest. He actually told me where this was. Otherwise, I would have never fucking found this. Mm. It's behind here. Oh shit. It's hidden right there. 
It is huh. the case of Zakri to Tobakin. And it's... The sword's true power can only be unlocked by the Thuma of the Dovahkiin. Well then. Ooh. I like that one. I took them both. What does that mean? Do you shout and then they just uh, pop or what? Sakri to Tovahkiin. Let me get rid of that other sword there. Um... Anything happen? Hey, holy careful. shit! Oh, that's a lot. It does 106 damage. And but what's the true power thing? I think it's because, like, obviously the only person that can actually wield it's the Dovahkiin. But probably. So maybe that's what he means. I don't think you can actually activate anything with a shout. That's super. That's my new fucking sword right there. Did you see how fast that was? Mm-hmm. That, that's... That would be my favorite sword. <laughs> A crit takes him down. I one-shotted him. <laughs> that's great. That's awesome. So that's, uh, Artifact 3 and 4. Okay. Let's go ahead and go down to the dungeon, shall we? That's my favorite place. I can't wait until that's finished. Oh, there, will, same. there will be a part three whenever this mod's finished. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, almost forgot where it was. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. He's your child. That's why he's in there. <laughs> I love that. Oh, yeah. Candle. Candle. I'm gonna quick save because this game has been really crashy as of late. Oh, yeah. Very crashy. It, I do have like 10,000 mods installed though, so. <laughs> yeah. And here should be the final two. Ready? Yep. Amulet of the Draconia. Offered to an ancient dragonborn, this relic of Akatosh regenerates Magicka 95% faster and reduces Thum's recovery by 20%. Nice. Impregnated by the dragon's magicka and the ethereum, this relic regenerates your thumb 20% faster and increases your magicka by 100 points. Mm, that's pretty cool. That's so cool. I like it. I'm gonna wear that. Because that sounds good. I can, I'm, I'm gonna wear that too. Oh. I was putting on the same thing. So do they stack? Yeah. Hell yeah. So... So this should regenerate like 40% faster, and it is. I gotta yeah. tell. Yeah. That's crazy. This is awesome. I cannot wait. Hey, I'm, there's no horse this time. No. There's a dead horse in my basement. <laughs> I can't wait until this stuff is done. See, yeah. I got that key thinking, oh, this is going to unlock these doors. Nope, still very much a work in progress. Yep. He did say, oh yeah, I wanted to mention this while we were down here. Um, the dungeon is a work in progress and it's to have loot, enemies, and bosses. Ooh. Or a boss. I'm going to type that down wrong. But this is a fucking Awesome this is gonna be great. I love this mod. A dungeon this... in your own house. Yeah, no shit. This is definitely my new like home. Yeah. I mean, I am going to go right away and get children, a wife, <laughs> and that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> but just get a child. Just get a wife, and then. Like, make a baby just so you can have this house. Exactly. It's just so fucking cool. I don't know what the um, other thing was up here. There was one other thing that we didn't actually get to, like, see or learn what it. What do you need? Why are you. What? Is this a puzzle? That's fucking creepy. I'm gonna ignore that swiftly. Were they always like that? I can't remember. Um, yeah, we didn't figure out what 
this thing did. He made no mention of it. Mm -hmm. And it taught, it very well could just be like it's a thing that can't, doesn't work on PS4. Yeah. Teleporter the horse in the eye. I'd assume it would be to bring your follower and horse towards you. Maybe. I don't have a horse, so maybe that's got something to do with it. But this sword. Yeah, that sword, though. Oh, oh, son of a. <laughs> son of a flop. <laughs> ben lost him. <laughs> Shit. Jesus. That was hilarious. Comedic timing on the <laughs> son of a. <laughs> Just, oh, that was funny. I have the thing where a critical strike can paralyze them sometimes. Mm -hmm. That was so funny. <laughs> Anyway, that was part two of the mod. I wanted to come back and cover the things that I missed and, you know, finally figure out what was in those things since I was able to do that. That. It looks awesome. I know. That's a cool sight. Screenshot. <laughs> Thumbnail achieved. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, mod creator, if you watch this one too. Fucking awesome. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. I don't know what else to keep, say. Keep besides, making good shit, man. This is awesome. Keep up the work on this. Can't wait to see the dungeon in the barracks. Oh, I really the want the dungeon. The library of Hermes more. I'm really excited for that one. The potential. Hello? Oh. Uh, the potential <laughs> for that, like, because the since, um,. Hermes Mora's realm, mm -hmm. you can actually visit in the Dragonborn DLC. Yeah. The assets are there. I can't wait to see books and words and letters floating around and shit. It's gonna be so cool. If that's what you even have in mind for it, it could literally just be a library with a shitload of books. That's I doubt it because he said Library of Hermes Mora, but, and that's an oddly specific thing just to have a bunch of bookshelves. So, I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait for the dungeon. Yeah, you can't wait for the dungeon. I can't wait to see that either. And, uh... I'm very yeah. combat ready when it comes to this game. It's... Oh, I'm so excited. So keep up the good work, dude. Yeah, uh, yeah. Let me actually find the mod creator's name. Uh... Yeah. Um... Give him I'm not gonna say props his, for this. I'm not gonna say his, like, full YouTube name in case he doesn't... Actually, I doubt his YouTube name is actually his real name. But then again, I don't know. Oh, God. So I'm so... I'm going to go ahead and apologize, because I'm probably going to pronounce this wrong. Um, Ann R. Lauren Dill and Narion. Good fucking work. Um, I don't think I pronounced that right, so... Text on the screen. This is his name. His or her name. I don't actually know the gender, but... Awesome fucking work. Did you just assume their gender? <laughs> Shut up. Good work. Keep it up. Can't wait to see more. Awesome. I'm ready for that dungeon. I know. I'm ready for everything. This is so cool. And I actually, he actually pointed out to me. Why don't I just open Twitch? He just, he pointed out to me in the comment section of the last one too that we were the first ones to do a video of Deus Mons on PlayStation 4. Nice. So, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> so, mod reviews are going to keep going. No doubt about that. The first one was good, just the fact that the mod creator found it. And we can, we can, we're we going to always give shout-outs to the mod creators, because oh, yeah. they deserve props. I expect, like, if we like their mod enough to review it, then they deserve to have their mod be known. I actually did put links to all the mm -hmm. different consoles in the last version. I'll probably do the same for this video. So check it out if you have PS4, Xbox One, or PC because it's on all of them. Yeah. It's such a good mod. And all this stuff is, like, free. Yeah. So I mean, as long put... as you have the special edition, you're good. I mean, who doesn't want to do this? <laughs> 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 they put their heart and souls into making good stuff like this. So, yeah, yeah it's give, so good. Give them props in, however, uh, in whatever way you can. Yeah. So enough rambling, just once again, amazing work, keep it up, can't wait for more. Hell yeah. So thank you guys for watching, have a good one. Later. See you later.